Welcome. I'm Russell Alexander. I've been a practicing family law lawyer for over 20 years here at the team at Russell Alexander, Collaborative Family Lawyers. We serve clients during separation and divorce and other family-related matters. We upload a new video twice per week to cover interesting cases and provide up-to-date information during the pandemic. Today we're going to discuss the dad's time after school drop-offs count towards dad's parenting time. Even those separated and divorced parents who have reached mutual agreements on post-split care of their children, the calculation of parenting time can be nitpicky and contentious. This is all the more so if one parent is trying to establish a shared custody situation as defined by the Federal Child Support Guidelines. Under that shared custody regime, if the child is living with the support paying parent for more than 40% of the time, then there could be special, more discrete based support calculations that a judge can apply often resulting in a lower level of support that is owed. This was an issue in this recent case. The parents had a child together, had separated after eight years of marriage. As a part of settling out of, at their issues in court over child support, the father was ordered to pay about $2,000 a month based on his high earnings and the fact that the child was living primarily with the mother. The father was given a set of access times, which were to be gradually increased. Over the next few years, the amount of support he owed was adjusted each and each month was adjusted accordingly. However, the father now claimed that his support obligations should be reduced. Because of a few developments, the child was apparently spending more time, more than 40% of the time, with him lately. The father argued that the shared custody provisions of the guidelines were now being triggered and that the court could adjust child support amount in light of the changed circumstances. The mother disagreed with the father's position on this. As the court put it, here the parties did not agree on the method to calculate the time the child spends with each of them let alone the exact amount of time the child actually spends with them. The father therefore brought a motion to change his most recent support order. If you're enjoying this video and find it helpful, you can give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. In the context of trying to mathematically prove the guidelines threshold had been met, the father argued that the time the child spent at school after the father dropped him off was to be counted as the father's time. That would give him an extra 17.5 hours per week with the child, up from his current 35 hours, which was enough to newly qualify for the 40% guideline minimum. The court disagreed with this approach, pointing out that there was an, there was an existing order in place with access start times and end times spelled out. The father could not unilaterally try to exercise the so-called right to access beyond those specified times. Otherwise, he would essentially be encroaching on the mother's time in order to reach the 40% threshold that he wanted to rely on in reducing his support obligations. This was not allowed. The other flaw in the father's reasoning was that the threshold was not necessarily reached through sheer hours the child spent with the father, but looking at which parent had parenting responsibility over the child. The court explained that the issue before the court is not parenting contact, it's parenting responsibility. The father does not have parenting responsibility 40% of the time. He does not have 40% of the child's overnights. Even the provisions of meals is neither proven nor determinative. Since the court refused to credit him with the additional 17.5 hours he was trying to claim, 
The father considered that he felt short of the 40% mark. There had been no material change in circumstances to justify varying the amount of support he should be paid. Thank you for watching the video today. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment box below. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and let us know. You can also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and get notification every time we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.